Hi, everybody. Um, so I'm Valerie, and uh, I wanted to share, you know, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about Cat Terra Channel. Um, whoever is being run by either, you know, a chick, a her or him, it could be both of them, you know, her and his, and his brother, as, you know, as far as I'm, as I'm concerned. Um, I noticed this really aggressive behavior from this channel about, um, you better say something she likes, otherwise she's going to label you of a something. Um, it's really funny when you observe her videos about hate and about, I don't know, um, you know, criticizing other people and the glove when she's actually doing it. Um, so, you know, it's very funny when, it, you know, you, you're just doing something and you don't even know about it. Um, she claims that, she calls me and I'm just, you know, could be another person, just a number out there, but in my case, she calls me a person that it's uh, a racist, a bad person, evil person, um, you know, darkness, she even used the word darkness in, in the video, and to, you know, a person you don't know, you know, we are completely strangers, because of a forward honest comment from my personal liking physically on people. She felt, you know, she started to be, to be paranoid about it, uh, you know, like saying, well, if you don't write something I want to write, then, you know, I'll just, you know, I'll get up a video for you. Or, you know, just quite of a, very much of a manipulator, I should say. And, and I think it's a, it's a great attack to democracy and people's opinions and choices out there. I think it's not um, an example of a person uh, to criticize other people when you're a stranger to her, when you both, actually both of you are strangers and, you know, there's just no rights to label people around or assume on people around because of, you know, a simple line or whatever that she said. I think it's quite paranoid. I think that, well, it shows that she's not healthy enough for such uh, reactions. And I think that that makes people obviously annoyed, you know, upset. Therefore, you, you know, you go back with, you know, uh, hit it up words, if you know what I mean, which is what I did on Facebook, on her account, and and not just, you know, uh, doing the fight on down this, this video on YouTube, if you know what I mean. It's a typical thing. You say something against and you defend yourself back again, you know, either ironically or, you know, even aggressively, you know, call each other things. It's part of the, it's part of the, of the ritual, right? It's part of the ritual when you disagree uh, in a hit way with somebody. Um, so, I think it's a normal thing, you know, nothing we haven't seen before when you disagree with a person. And it's not really, uh, you know, my complaint or my, or my claim about this, you know, the situation. It's not that I ever cared what she thought about my comment, you know, um, or, or that she should agree with me. You know, I think that it was quite a thing around for, for her to, you know, talk about my person, which in the first place she doesn't know what I'm made of. Uh, you know, talk about strangers around online, uh, could be anybody's descent, and just, you know, label people around, you know, hypocritically, very hypocrite, you know, just, just uh, talking about people she doesn't know, and because she doesn't agree with something you said, and I observed that uh, some, many people are there, or a few people, I don't know if there are many, but a few people are there would just not be ready for a channel up, you know, they just, and I'll tell you why, Whatever it is about tarot or anything that you choose to have a channel up for, uh, so many people are not ready to uh, stand criticism. And you could criticize something for, for the good of it or for the bad of it. It depends if it's a positive criticism, if it's a negative criticism, it depends on the topic. And I think that you know one person should be ready to that. I mean, if you own a channel, you know, that it's, it's, it's out there, social, you know, you're going to receive all types of, of criticism. And I think it's part of the game. It's part of the game of, you know, having people, I don't know, watching a video or something, I you know, whatever it is, it's about in your channel. And, you know, you're going to have uh, people's reactions sometimes, you know, something, a good critic, a bad one, uh, so, so on, or probably they don't even, you know, would leave a thumb, uh, thumb up or just probably put a, th a thumb down. You know, it's just part of the, of the, 
the cyber you know, world uh, when you have a channel about anything. So uh, it's really crazy. Uh, this woman, obviously, she's not doing quite well in the head because uh, she's, you know, uh, assuming that it's on a stranger's uh, things and when she doesn't even know him just because she didn't uh, agree with you know whatever you're gonna write about I don't know a song in the background in the video or a shot in my case a shot and I told her in a shot that I'm not attracted to a white and, and white and black couple it's not attracted to me physically now that doesn't mean that I cannot as a matter of fact I have many color friends around the globe you know I speak three languages I'm a German Argentine blooded I speak American English and you know German and you know Argentine Spanish so obviously I have you know world out there and, and not just some part of my family out but also friends I know for you know you know years and yeah they're different people uh, different color people physically speaking only but they are you know, the same human beings just you know we're all the same inside as they say so it's really ridiculous when you hear a person complaining about a, you know over a stranger without knowing his story, without knowing what you know, just because she doesn't agree with uh, a not side take. In this case, uh, a very uh, innocent, honest line. You know, it was not meant to hurt people. Like, oh, she doesn't like me because I'm Afro. Well, hey, I might adore you. You know, you don't adore people because of the skin, but if it's about being attracted, you know, it's a very, uh, it's a very cold outlook, if you know what I mean. It's a very cold physical, you know, opinion. We all have, you know, preferences in life. It's like if I'm pushing you to, I don't know, like a spaghetti when you don't eat spaghetti, if you know what I mean. And not for that, you're going to be a bad person or a cruel person or, you know, something bad for society and and you know actually doesn't really say much at all you know you just choose what you go for some people like you know white people some other people like afro people or they feel better attracted to asians i don't know it's all about you know what you go for that that doesn't have to be linked to the racism i think the racism is a big word you know in getting closer to that word um people you often link it all to that and and i think it's quite a between brackets a raping to democracy. I think that people should know when to drop a line. People should know when you are acting as a bad person to another one, either because the color of the skin, as for instance in a nation politically, or saying that you go after people because they, they I don't know, they are ugly to you, so you go, you know, punishing around. Uh, that's quite cruel. Or or say, well, um, I don't talk to Asians because they're Asians. I think it's just really stupid and I think it's quite uh, highly racist, actually. You know, there are many ways to be it. Um, and because people have their own, uh, you know, physical liking, I think they should be respected, you know, because you are nobody to push some other person to like this chick or that guy, if you know what I mean, physically only speaking. You might love the person in the inside, you could make good friends, even, you know, sisterhood, brotherhood, whatever it is. And which is, my, you know, in my case, I have many different color friends from, you know, around the globe and for years. And we know exactly what we mean. You know, we have a type that we go for and period. You know, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, a radical, cruel thing. Actually, it's not even bad. It's just actually, you know, what do you go for? You like a white chick, you like a Chinese chick better. And then say, I guess that's just what, you know, it's your thing. That doesn't mean that uh, you don't get close to them because they look different or that you uh, trash them out by word because they look different. You know, it's just really not how it works like so I think you know many people um, that are uncultured and just act uncultured highly uncultured and highly torp would link it all or, or even even just have the intention to put it close to the reason you know just do uh, just for the anger of something that she didn't like because she doesn't agree with you or because he doesn't agree with you whoever the person is in this case in the in this case is cat terror a cat terror runner you know either you know her brother or her whoever is running uh, in this case it's a her uh, she really feels uh, threatened um, by people's uh, opinions and and you know free speech with all the rights of the love to say uh, to criticize something for good or, or, or positive or negative we can criticize in any way with all the freedom in the glove you know and if it's about my take for a liking I think there should be respected um, 
it just really disgusts me when, when, when you, you know, you come across with a person that it will push you to like what she likes or, you know, as a matter of fact, I don't even care what other people go for because it's a personal thing. You, know, you, you could say, well, it's not my thing. I'm not attracted to that. I'm much rather this or that. And I'm not going to judge a person or label them around or just assume things really torpidly, um, especially when you don't know them, not even saying it, because of those things. I think it's just a, a very spontaneous line for me, ironical, you know, um, uh, in a funny joke to say, and according to her, it was quite violent, and we suffer from it, she said. Well, I don't find it violent. I think it's just a, a liking, a personal liking. So I would ask her, why do you push people? Unconsciously, she's pushing people. It's not that she directly would just tell you something. It's not that she direct, directly would just um, make you do something or think something, you know? But when you complain about people's takes, you are, in a way, uh, being unhappy with yourself, you are not happy with yourself and your own beliefs. When you you go for you go searching approvals from people just because it makes you upset that the person does not agree with you about anything. I don't just think that she's uh, uh, unprofessional and immature and highly paranoid about simple things in life from personal takes from people. You know, making videos about people because it's not what she wants to hear. Not just that paranoid behavior an attitude to the world, especially when you hold a channel. You know, you should keep it um, mature and if you don't like something, well, just remove it or just respond. But acting up like, you know, making videos about them just because you're unhappy with their take, I think it's really not democracy. It's not, talk it doesn't talk about democracy at all. It's, uh, it's really not something that you should be accepted in society. And that's why, as I said, I was, I'm highly disgusted by that. And the reason why I reacted very heated on her on Facebook and even, you know, down the, the you know, uh, the argues down her video on YouTube. I think, you know, that when you don't agree with something, it's you're meant to argue. But what I mean is, I step up, I, I'm going to stand up for people's rights and I'm going to stand up for people's uh, personal takes and likes. And I think that's what really matters. My color friends are from the globe and many people understand exactly what I mean. You know, we choose what in life. That doesn't have to be that we are bad people or like, it's just really different things. You know, it's like, it's just really personal. And some people are going to, you know, if they ask you, what do you go for? You answer or you just say it as, a, as I criticize a shot of her. You know, some people might like it, some people don't. And that should be respected, you know, but I think she's got a, a problem with her head, you know, like being paranoid and, and labeling people around, you know, not even the same people she doesn't know, strangers, for something that she just cannot, uh, uh, I don't know, God knows what she thought in her head. Probably she thought that, not that she wouldn't agree, but probably she thought that she wouldn't agree because, I don't know, was hurting somebody by word. Look, I don't have a, a any, I never had any chance, I mean, any reasons, not chances, but reasons to, you know, go uh, hurting people around just for the heck of it. I think we just do our lives, you know. Uh, it might sound selfish in a way to say I do my life and I don't care what's happening out there, but many times it's a positive thing because if you don't stand up for yourself and, and you don't make yourself respect, they're going to step all over you, right? It's like they just want to, like, like this person labeling people online because of an opinion, you know, like, I'm, I'd rather spaghetti or stick, and then if you don't say the right word or the right answer, I'm going to, you know, put you in a video, so watch out, you know? I think it's just really unprofessional, very uncultured, uncultured and very of a torp person. And uh, it just, that is an act, is an act, you know? I think that if I had attacked a person directly on a, you know, on a user to say that, I don't know, things like, you are, you know, a crap person because you're color of a skin, well, that would be really, really, uh, obviously racism, or, I don't know, um, even going at her, saying, oh, you know, if you don't agree with my line, I'm going to trash you out. I never said that. I actually, um, I just, you know, just walked by in a way on her video and just decided to uh, mention the, the shot because of my personal uh, likings and I'm proud of that you know people you know as I said nobody should push to no sh nobody should push you to what you are not uh, fancy to right so I think that that should be respected it's a, it's a great attack to uh, democracy you know people's rights and likes and and it's really mediocre it's highly mediocre in culture when everybody would link it all to racism
I think that talks also of, you know, um, um, being a very not prepared person. And I think that uh, also to the point that she took it uh, to a level that I was, uh, I don't know what she thought, that I was just getting, I don't know, uh, putting his family on jail or something, jail or something like that. I mean, whatever it is that she thought, probably she thought that I did it to hurt people around or that I wanted to mess with his fam with her family. Uh, I actually took a couple of shots from her Facebook because I wanted to, you know, to show the world where you come from and like, you know, who do you think you are? You know, just who do you think you are? Put your face on on there, and and you know, brother, sister, where you come from? Show the world, you know, the 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 manipulator you are in society. You know, that's what I thought, and obviously, it probably you know, YouTube, it would just not, it would violate the 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 rules of the of the of the YouTuber, I know, uh, norms because of you know pictures of people, but uh, you know, so they could put it down any any, any time, but. Uh, the point of that, uh, more than, than, you know, family picture or herself, where she comes from, is just uh, to show this person to be quite aggressive on people's takes. And I think uh, that it that shouldn't happen. I stand up for myself. This is the reason why I take my uh, a few little minutes to stand up for myself. And also, in the name of other people there who have the same freedom to want anything they want in life from a dish of food to a place or a person's looks and I think that should be respected as long as nobody is um, you know cursing at each other for the looks as long as nobody's chasing each other after some person because of the color of the skin that is actually racism but anything else it's just a personal take a personal like and a uh, I see no why it would be uh, hurting people around. I think the only people that might feel hurt about it, if that was the case, is usually the people that don't get a chance with you physically, if you know what I mean. It's like, oh, she doesn't go for whites. Okay, am I lost, right? She doesn't go for Afro people. And so, well, it's not something you could force yourself to be. I think you're just born uh, with a with a flave, right? With, 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 with a preference, uh, you know, even if it's a set from a dish of food to a place, to best place to go for, I don't know, holiday. So um, it's a typical, resentful people uh, that, like this woman in this case, and could be a man out there that because he doesn't have a nightstand with you, he's just gonna put a name on you, right? Or this woman that because she doesn't uh, hear or reads what she wants to read, or to read, then she gets really unreal with people out there and just uh, you know, paranoid and, and judging people just because she doesn't uh, match the same line or the same uh, opinion, better said. So, you know, I think either said, either saying a line ironically or for the funny of it, or just even seriously saying it, uh, I think it keeps being your takes, it keeps being your your likings, and that should be respected. That's your opinion, your point of view. We all have one anyway, and, and I think that should be respected. So, I guess I'm very racist for the people that uh, I don't feel attractive for it. So they probably, you know, get pissed saying, okay, so I wanted to, you know, have a wine night stand with with her, a couple of nights stand with her, and she doesn't like me physically. So, well, it's okay. You're not going to die. You have many people there to, you know, have fun. So, you know, or, or this woman, as I said, that, you know, she doesn't get what she wants to hear. So she labels people around for simple lines, you know. It's just really absurd and unprofessional and uncultured highly uncultured, you know, link it all, you, it's like you hear people link it all to racism just to their own convenience because they don't get nothing from you physically or anything that they need, if you know what I mean. So that could be the case. I don't say that all of them would want something uh, out of another person, but it's the typical, right? The people that get offended by a personal preference is because they want to rule you out, you know, like this woman, she if she doesn't stand criticism, negative, she wants all pretty things down her channel, or or otherwise she's gonna feel highly offended. I don't think it's of a professional. I don't think she's ready for a channel in such case, and um, to start a video on others, right? It's like to start a video on other people, threatening them that you know that. Uh, because she doesn't agree or whatever way she wants to see it, like uh, they're gonna start a video on you. I think it's just really um, uh, terrifying and uh, ridiculous, terrifying for anybody out there. Manipulator attitude, and we don't we don't have to put up with uh, uh, people raping democracy, people raping uh, people's views out there. You know, it's like just like um, 
If you don't think like me, then you're a bad person, right? If you don't think like me, then um, watch out. I'm going to get a video up there for you. So, you know, it's just quite, you know, it, she really doesn't, into, you know, I'm not, I, she doesn't, you know, move me a thing actually. But because I have a high, you know, strong personality, I'm here to, I, you know, I take my minutes to mention this and to just to stand up for everybody, not just me, but everybody out there that would be a victim of the people that, uh, she calls puts name she puts names on you know for you know whatever that you don't agree with her so it's it's, a, it's an unconscious way of um, pushing people to like what you like and that shouldn't be permitted you know she might say that she never pushed me to anything she might say that uh, whatever she wants to say but by just having a video about a stranger or and you know could be any of us you know I'm just the number out there as I said any of us because of a line that she didn't agree, I think it's quite sick and paranoid, uh, especially when nobody is attacking nobody here to say, you know, what a sad world. People people are just like attacking to each other just for the color of the skin or stuff like that. So probably if she is a black person or not, she felt attacked uh, hopelessly, right? You always find the people that feel less. Maybe she should, I don't know, embrace her own uh, you know, just to start to love herself a little bit more than feeling offended so easily by people just because you don't share the same opinion or same takes about anything in life. So, you know, it's just pretty lame. It's pretty mature, pretty unprofessional. I don't think she's ready for a channel if she cannot deal with the world with any kind of criticism about the shot, about the music she, she, she uses, anything. You know, it could be something good or something bad. It could be something halfway. You know, it could be anything. But if you're not ready, why do they have our channel up anyway? You know, it's just really not the way you do things, at least not professionally. So uh, I just wanted to, you know, get my voice up and high up out there for, you know, just in the name in the name of all of the people that have right to have the right to have a liking in life. And as long as that liking is not gonna, uh, you know, create any kind of hate in your person at a, spirit, a spiritual level, at, at a, you know, uh, bad intentions level, and with intention of hurting somebody, with intention of, of becoming actually a racist, that will not be accepted. But in the meantime, if it's only about physical preferences or you know, a place you go to or a dish of food, I think that should be respected. And, you know, I just don't let myself to be, you know. Uh, spit on a face because somebody doesn't like what I say. So that's why I take the, you know my time to talk about it and to stand up for myself and many other people that would have the same situation in real life online, you know, for from people that are highly mature and paranoid about you know life itself. I I I'm really convinced that she's not happy with her own beliefs. Reason why she needs, in this case, is a her could be a he reason why she needs to go after people, uh, labeling people, putting names on people, because she needs to get approval from people to feel somebody with herself or important with herself. And if she thinks I'm wrong, then why would she take the time to put a to just put a name on people that she doesn't know? Be just because she doesn't agree with a simple line. Uh, it's not my problem if she likes the line or not. We all have different takes and different likes in life, and which I humanly respect. I'm not, I'm not against democracy. I think we live in a world of democracy, and that should be respected. So I'm proud of my takes. I'm proud of my likes. Um, never been, you know, uh, showing them off with intention of hurting anybody, unless that I have somebody trying to uh, bother me. In that case, that would be different. You know, we respect each other as long as we respect each other and keep it at ease with our own likes. Then, you know, peace out. The world is is not wrong. But in the meantime. I would be wrong if we just, uh, as I said, go after people because of their skin, calling them things or bad things or attacking them, you know, directly saying you are this, you are that. I mean, that's a different, you know, story logically. So I think that all of us should stand up online, in real life, anywhere for our rights. And as long as we live in a world of democracy, I don't see why I should have somebody to tell me what to do or what to think or what to be. So, uh, that's it. I'm just going to send uh, a big hug to my friends out there, uh, my white friends, my Afro friends. Uh, it seems I have a part of my family out and, and, and you know, I got friends around the globe. So I speak three languages, so obviously have a, you know, a white culture on that, um, which is something that people many times like, hey, you're, you're so great and you're so, you know, you're a strong way, you know what you want. 
you stick it for yourself and, and you speak three languages. Well, I don't know, is that a good or bad thing? You know, it's just, I guess that was my case, um, being German and half Argentine, that have, you know, the chance to speak way more than in one language. And also my grandmother was in Philadelphia, so I think that's another reason why also I speak English, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, I sent a big hug to all my friends up there, all of the people that knows me. Uh, and I know exactly, you know, what, they know exactly what I mean. And, you know, we respect each other and we don't think wrong about each other unnecessarily. And, uh, you know, we'll keep it up. We keep it honest. We keep it simple and, and just authentical. You have to be original with your own likes and, and your own, and just feel proud of your takes and feel proud of who you are. And, you know, just try to be a good person. You know, as long as nobody is, you know, bothering you, then you're going to be, um, the nicest. If somebody is going at you, then obviously you're going to react aggressive back and, and online or in life uh, for, you know, typical Libras, we go after justice. So, um, and I'm a, I'm a, a Capricorn influence as well, by the way, in Scorpio, so I'm you know, stepping strong for a Libra anyway. So, um, big hug to all my friends out there and whoever you're, you know, whoever you are, stranger, whoever you are, yes, you, stranger, whoever you are, you stand up. You stand up for your rights and don't let anybody, either in real life, online, or, you know, to manipulate you, to tell you what to do, what to be, what to think, or what to choose in life. Uh, stand up for your, yourself. You are original. We're all different, our own way to be. We, and, and if, as long as we can keep it at ease, that's the world you need. So, greetings to everybody and stand up for yourself.